what else did we talk about? Uh, we also, Arif Sana, hello, Ibrahim, how are you today? Good. Uh, okay, it's just a quick revision about some of the things we talked about. So we talked about the detox retreat, drinking vegetable and uh, fruit juice for a week. And uh, we talked about uh, relative clauses, how to use who, that, which, who's, where, and when. And uh, we also talked about how to drop it in some instances where, where it's uh, uh, who, which, and that. When they're not the subject of the, the clause, you can drop them. Uh, it's, it's not necessary anymore to use it. Um, we also talked about uh, some medical vocabulary. Uh, most interestingly is the, is the, the word uh, uh, surgery, which means uh, like an office or an OPD, an outpatient uh, department in a way. We also talked about the difference between uh, the A&E department, which is accident and emergency, uh, compared to a ward, which is where uh, regular patients are admitted. So all of this was uh, last time. So in today's lesson, we'll talk a little bit about, I think, maybe journalism. It seems like it's a lesson about journalism. Good news, bad news. So it's about the news. All right, so let's start with the first section. It says, where do you get your news from? From TV, newspapers, the radio, the internet? Let's start with Noha. With Noha. What about you? Where do you usually get your news from, Noha? I usually get my news from uh, TV. TV, from the TV. New programs, yeah. TV, mm -hmm. mostly. Do you, do you prefer this? Do you prefer to get your news from, from television instead of, for example, from from the internet, which is which has become quite popular today, to get the news from? Uh, sometimes from the internet, but uh, usually the confirmed one, I, I trust uh, TV news channels, some, not all of them, more than Facebook, for example, because nowadays it becomes like a rumor, rumor machine so yeah but but there are other there, there are other you know outlets instead of just because facebook was never you know it's, it was never made for the news it's a it's a social platform but i mean you can find all kinds of uh uh their you know uh, news channels and news magazines their their online pages they have their blogs and channels. You can find all of this on, on the internet, okay. right? Yeah, but but, but I, I find TV is easier, the easier the, the easiest and the fastest way. Mm -hmm. Okay, I see. Yeah. Rather than uh, open the internet and search uh, on about search and look after the news that you you wanna mm -hmm. want to get. And, and um, I think here yeah, the question, it's, uh, you sort of answered it already, number two. Do you ever read, watch, or listen to the news in... Ah, okay, so they're asking about uh, the news in English here. Mm, do, you ever, do you ever see the news in English or just in Arabic? Uh, I try to see something on uh, BBC English, for example, mm -hmm. CNN, CNN and uh, BBC, but I found it... Um, I was struggling with that. <laughs> I couldn't understand very well, so it's boring somehow. Mm, okay, you reminded me of another issue. I'll talk a little bit about this, but after, let's finish the, the questions first. Okay, number three, what stories are in the news at the moment? What, what hot topics can you remember from today's news, for example? Uh, maybe the election in the UK, in the uh, US. Mm -hmm. United States of America, yeah. and uh, what else? For Libyan, you can't trust any channel, any news. You feel um, that they are 
uh, all of them is rumors uh, until you see them on the in the real in real life yeah. yes on, yeah. on the ground yeah on the ground yeah yeah i, I agree about that uh, yeah, yeah i don't trust any of them either uh, the libyan outlets mm, but uh, what, what's your take on the american elections well what do you think uh the latest one yeah this the, the current one yeah that's going on now uh, yeah, i think i think uh, trump will win because he has a lot of money it's a money matter rather than democracy and uh, public voice okay do you think it's just about money yeah politics is um, rely mostly mm-hmm. on uh, on the on the um, uh, on the fund yani on the capital mm-hmm. yeah how much the politician is willing to spend yeah. or invest on his campaign yeah you might be right about that what what do, what do you think about the american elections brain um uh, uh alhamd rasulullah uh the first time i uh, interested in the american election it's this year because they started uh, huh? uh fighting okay So uh, uh, Trump and uh, another guy is starting insulting each other. So, <laughs> so you're you're interested. You suddenly became interested in in American politics because of that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And but but what about the, the news in general, Brian? What about you? Do you do the same thing as now? Do you just switch on the TV and, or do you do you prefer to get your news uh, elsewhere? Or, or are you even interested in the news? And this might be the more appropriate uh, question. Politics or what? And the world affairs, current affairs, politics, uh, the economy, sports, all Polit- of it. Uh, politics and that kind of uh, news, I'm not interested at all, okay. actually. Mm-hmm. But um, tech news, Uh, something like that, yeah. Uh, I follow them on Twitter and uh, hmm. Facebook. Aha, uh-huh. so you use uh, social media for, for the Social news. media, yeah, I use social media, yeah. Mm-hmm. So unlike Noha, Noha doesn't like to get the news from from social media, so you're you're kind of different here. Mm, yeah, and, okay. and, and, and what do you prefer? Do you prefer, for example, when, when you follow the, the, the interesting topics, I mean, the topics which are interesting to you. Do you prefer to, you know, read the the, the, the articles, the latest news? Do you, do you prefer to listen to interviews, clips, you know? Yeah, I watch your reviews sometimes, uh, read sometimes. No. Mm, so whatever is available, you have no preference. Yeah, be man. No, okay. And do you do this in, in English too? Uh, the reviews, are they in English when you watch them or are they in Arabic or... How, how does it go usually? Uh, Sometimes uh, there's on YouTube actually there's uh, an Arabic channel. Um, it's called uh, UTD, I think. Mm-hmm. It's an Arabic one. Uh, for, uh, the let me go to the. The one, the, the man who talks on the video, what do... The, you can say the that? presenter, the host, presenter. Exactly, yeah, the uh, presenter. His name is uh, Faisal Asif. He has uh, really good information. Mm-hmm. Okay, so this is a channel that's in Arabic, but do you follow any yeah. channels that are in English? Any tech channels? Yeah, or... yeah, yeah. So it doesn't really matter which language. Do you, do you have a preference or... It depends on what you're looking for. You don't really have a preference. Yeah, it depends here. on the. What it uh, depends on, yeah, what they are talking about. Okay. Okay. Hmm. 
All right. Um, so no, the topic, uh, the point I was, I was, I wanted to talk about. I think this is one of. Uh, I I think we talked about this a little bit before, but I think this is really important and at at the sake of being <laughs> being boring, I'm going to <laughs> repeat it again. Uh, I think I think you uh, because my uncle. I was having a chat with my uncle, and he has a very similar story to your story. He's he's a doctor. He's uh, his English is really good. I mean, his his, his English is okay. He he did his PhD in the UK, but at the same time he uh, he has some weird you know things with English. He can speak English when he has to. Mm -hmm. But but he's uh, he's quickly frustrated and he had a big problem with IELTS. And uh, mm -hmm. when he told me the story, he said when we were practicing for IELTS, he mm -hmm. said uh, that uh, the, his instructor in IELTS told him, I know exactly what your problem is because you come from a, an academic background. This might be true yeah. for you too. He, she said yeah. that you, you have a very low tolerance or a low level of tolerance for frustration or for unclear things because he was mm -hmm. trying he was trying to read all of the words in the reading pa passage he wanted to yeah. know what every word meant she yeah. told him she told him you'll never you'll never get a good score in reading if you do this you need to change your mindset um, and uh, you reminded me of, of of this because it feels like because your english is not low by by any means it's you have a um, above average English level, I think. I don't want to say you're, you know, perfect, but you're you're on your way. Your English is good, but if you're struggling with the news, it, the problem is not comprehension. The problem is your mindset. You have a low level of tolerance for, for anything which which you don't know. You're a bit of a perfectionist in in, the, in this area. Do you get the yeah. idea? Yeah. And and this is not a good right. thing. Actually, this is a bit of a negative thing. Because yeah, this will this will pull you back. This is this will pull you back. Actually, I think you need to you need to develop some tolerance for things that for words that you don't know. Just let let them. <laughs> you know, <laughs> all you need to do is just get the general idea. Even if you skip words, even if you you are right. But uh, for example, yesterday I was uh, watching. Um, uh, a documentary about uh, people who are changed uh, their diet uh, to, huh? to to become uh, vague, uh, vegan. vegan, vegan, vegan. Mm -hmm. So I completely understand all the ideas. Yeah. And most of the conversation, uh, but um, but some words you can say that. So what? In, in some specific areas, when doctors uh, come to speak uh, about something specific, I found it, uh, I wanted to understand each word. <laughs> That's the problem. I went to the movie, Danny, with the English, English uh, caption, with yeah. Arabic. And I'll go to the movie any captions, but I'll see the Exactly. ما نقدرش تعودنا هيك الكتابات بحدها الدكشنري عندي ثلاثة أنواع من الدكشنري عندي الأدفانسد عندي الأرابيك إنجلش عندي إنجلش إنجلش أشكال أنواع عندي الإلكتروني فما نقدرش ما نعرفش. I I think you have to change this if you if you want to move on to the advanced level you need to you know make a few changes. What you're doing by the way is not bad. This is excellent. For for starting, let's say from beginner to maybe where you are now, this is this is excellent. This is awesome, and this is one of the reasons you got there because of this hard work, doing the the the, the workbook, doing the exercises, you know, building yourself. All of this is excellent. But uh, what this is creating is you're kind of it's like cre you're, you've created a shell of, of perfection. Unless you know the word, you're you're unwilling to uh, to engage with with the with the with the conversation. Do you get the idea? Yeah. yeah. Uh, and this is not a very good idea um, at this at your level, because you need to be a little more, you know, flexible. So what if you don't understand? Don't, you should do an exercise where you intentionally leave words that you don't know. <laughs> do you understand? Oh, it's really hard. <laughs> I know, I know. It's it's very hard. It's, it's very hard. Um, and maybe because this is also 
I'm not sure if this is a male versus female uh, way of learning. Um, I remember when I was learning Portuguese, I, I, I had the, almost the opposite opposite thing here. I still use wrong vocabulary when I still use wrong language when I talk uh, with, with my Brazilian friends, for example. But when they get my point and I get their point, I don't care anymore. But when I double check, when I double check my WhatsApp conversation, mm -hmm. it's full of it's full of grammatical errors and stupid things that I know are wrong. You get the idea. But at the yeah. moment, I'm interested only in communication. I'm interested that they get my point, I get their point, and uh, you know, that's all. So you need a little bit of flexibility. So you need to, I think, you need to work on. Since you like watching TV, getting your news from the TV, TV, make sure it's only in English from now on. Mm. It's it's a it's a challenge. Think of it as a challenge. But you know what? I'm I'm willing to bet that within a month, a lot of the words that uh, because the news, by the way, the vocab in the news is is sort of cycled. So it's sort of recycled. They mm -hmm. use a they use a limited uh, journalistic kind of English. You know, mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. just give yourself uh, a maximum of one month. But I think from two weeks, you'll, you'll start to see the difference if you keep to it daily. Okay. Uh, whenever you want to check the news, make sure it's either CNN or BBC in English or, or, or France, the English, they have also another one. Uh, just make sure it's in English. With, with, a, with, with a few weeks, you'll start to notice that the words are automatically decreasing, and you're starting to you'll start to pick up. Uh, I think the words. Okay, I'll try. Thank you. Yeah, this this will I think help you a lot. It's uh, helpful. Yeah. Okay. Let's move on to vocab. So uh, here we have a few collocations. Uh, these aren't hard, I think, but they're they're quite useful. Okay. So uh, box the first box. Let's let's try with the brain here. So, uh, so you pay off a debt and you take part in, you take part in what, Brian? Um, what do you think? Take, you know, domination and, uh, I'm sure we didn't. We have domination? On strict. We're doing uh, exercise number two. Demonst demonstration, you mean? What's a demonstration? No idea. But is this the answer you want? Yeah. Okay, that's correct. Do you see this example now? <laughs> Yeah, he's doing what what I was just t t telling you about. He has no idea what it means, but you know he's, he's just going going with the flow, and he's right. But the answer no, is... he he didn't go with uh, with the flow. He just heard something about the preposition in. He said take a part in. There's any other? There's no any other word has in. Is that true, Brahim? Is that true, Brahim? No. Uh... I don't think so, Mike. Nah. It's okay. You can be honest. We we won't charge you. No, 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 no. I was uh, trying to take apart on all of the sentences, and uh, yeah, the best yeah. one I chose it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. What about? Pr pr okay. I have another question here. Is this is this word protest or is it protest? What do you think, Brian? Is it protest or protest? How should we read this one? Protest. Oh, why? It's you're right, about? but why? Because there is no space in them, between them. Okay, but but be, uh, let's match it first, and then talk a little bit about it. With which word? Or phrase do you want to match protest? I guess some against uh, something. Okay, correct. Uh, let's let's check the other two and then we'll talk a little bit about protest. Take somebody to a hospital. Okay, and publish a report. All right. So, uh, what did you say? Why did you use protest? It's correct, by the way. But why why did you choose it? 
Why didn't you say protest? Uh, <laughs> never mind, Brian. Never mind it. I, I'm, I'm making, <laughs> a, I'm making, a, I'm making it complicated. But there is no point uh, because you answered it correctly. I think you can. My point Very is, uh, sure. I think here the 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 the, the, the issue. I think no, already knows it. I think the the one with the, with verb versus noun. Uh, in many words, uh, you have words which are the same as as a as a noun and as a verb. Protest, protest is one of them. Produce, produce is another one. So the, with, with verbs, you tend to have uh, the, the second syllable is the one that's stressed. And because all of these are verbs, keep in mind, all of these are verbs, the, the, the one on the set on the left here, pay off, take part, protest, take, publish, all of these are verbs. So the second syllable will, should be stressed, uh, protest. A protest, this is the noun itself. You know, mudara, the the, the the group or the event. There's a protest in 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 the Martyrs Square, for example. Today, there is a protest in front of the the, the ministry. Protest. People are protesting. You get the idea. So protest. Now it's a verb. That's the only point. It's just you know, it's a syllable stress. Where do you want to stress your syllable? That's all. All right. Okay, no, second box for you, meat. Where do you want to, to, to match meat with what? Uh, meet a target, maybe. All right. Mm -hmm. Discover? Uh, something new. Mm -hmm. Accept or reject? An offer. All right, and go? Go on strike. Uh -huh. Call off? A strike. All right. Okay, so they're not hard, but I think they just want us to, uh, you know, to keep these in mind because they might be included in, in the next listening. All right, so uh, let's move on to our listening exercise here. Uh, they want us to take a look at uh, photos A to D of today's main news stories. What do you think that the stories are about? Hmm. Let's check them. So let's start with the first one. Brian, what do, what do you think the first uh, the, the first photo is about? A protest. Yeah, there's a protest, correct. What do you think they're protesting? An electricity. Mm, electricity? Uh, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> this could be true. Uh, where is this place? Where are they? Where is the protest? Germany, maybe. Why do you think it's Germany? Uh, Polizei. Yeah, that's that's German for police, probably. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, I think that's good enough for a guess. No. What about uh, photo B? What do you think is happening here? What's the headline here? Mm. Mm. Uh, maybe robbery or something historical mm. or something. Mm, okay, maybe a robbery or a recovery of stolen. Oh, know. maybe uh, yeah, a new recovery for something historical. Yeah, some kind historical. of art artifacts or, or you know, something uh, historical. Mm. Mm, okay, a historical find. Maybe, maybe that's kind of logical. Um, what about C here? What's happening? Or what do you think the news is about? What do you think the news report is about here, Brian, in, in photo C? Um, uh, climate, maybe climate change. Maybe. This is uh, reasonable. It could be climate change. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, nuclear, uh, nu nuclear toxic, yeah. maybe. Yeah, nuclear energy, nuclear waste, maybe. Yeah. You could be right. Maybe electricity. Something related to power and power generation, electricity, electricity, yeah. consumption. Okay, all of these are very reasonable uh, guesses, I think. And the last photo now, what do you think? Photo D here. What's going on? Where's this place? What's, what's the news headline? 
Parliament. It's the Parliament? Maybe. Okay. Or Congress or something. Uh, or uh, conference. Mm -hmm. No, I think it's uh, maybe a Congress or Parliament. Mm -hmm. uh, what about the, the blue logo here in the middle? What, what does it look like? Uh, UN, United Nations uh, Summit. Yeah, I think so. I agree. I think it's some kind of, it might be a UN summit or maybe United Nations Security Council meeting, maybe, right? Maybe something like yeah. that. Yeah. Mm. And, and what do you think they're discussing or what, what, why are they meeting? Mm. Brian, I don't know. You've got something beeping. What's that? Uh, my parrot. Yeah, your parrot. He's a noisy parrot. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. So I, I guess that's good enough for a guess, uh, Noha. We're going to actually listen now and let's see how, you know, let's see uh, your guesses. Let's, let's, you know, compare them to. Uh, uh, to the listening track and let's see, let's find out. So it's track two, uh, it's CD2, track 40. Let's go there and check. CD2, track 40. Okay, let's check. Um, also, track 40. Um, we need to put them in the correct order. So this mm -hmm. means the reports will not be in the same order as the photos. So we're mm -hmm. going to rearrange them depending on the order of the reports. Okay, so maybe Ibrahim, it be, uh, is it okay if you could mute your when we're listening? Okay. It's, it, might, okay. It's, it may, might be easier for us. Okay, so let's okay. start. Hello, I'm Moira Dixon, and here are today's main news stories. World leaders have met to discuss the global economy at the World Trade Summit in Hamburg. EU finance ministers have asked for more help from the World Bank for countries that are having problems paying off their debts. Outside the conference hall, thousands of people have taken part in a demonstration to protest against the World Bank's economic policies. The demonstration began peacefully, but soon turned violent as protesters tried to enter the conference hall and were stopped by police. At least 40 people have been arrested and six police officers have been taken to hospital. A new report on the environment has just been published. The report shows that the UK has failed to meet its targets to reduce CO2 emissions. However, Environment Minister Jack Clark told reporters that some progress has been made. We haven't met our targets yet, that's true, but we've made good progress. The amount of CO2 produced by the UK has already been reduced by 2.7% in the last three years which will help reduce global warming. But we could and we should do better, and I'm sure that we will. Over 1,500 ancient gold and silver objects have been discovered by a retired teacher in Wales. 72-year-old Gareth Jones found the treasure five days ago while he was walking around his brother-in-law's farm with a metal detector. Experts say the find, which includes coins, swords and items of jewellery, dates back to the 7th century and could be worth over £10 million. One of the UK's leading archaeologists, Professor Geoffrey Baxter, says that the government needs to act fast to make sure the treasure stays in public hands. Some of the items still haven't been examined. But this is already the most important archaeological discovery this century. But why haven't we heard anything from the government yet? It's important that these pieces are kept for the nation 
and eventually put on display in the British Museum. If the government doesn't act soon, some of them might end up in private collections. Okay. Um, all right, let's uh, answer the, the, the easy part of the question now, which is the order. Which news report, which photo did we hear first? A. A? Are you sure? No, 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 no. It was uh, about climate change. C, Duncan. Brian, what do you think? I'm not sure actually. I'm not sure. Can we mm. try it again? Okay, let's try it again. Uh, but let me show you the photos again so I can remind you uh, mm. of, of the photos very quickly. So, yeah. photo A, so photo A, of course, is the protest. Mm. Photo B is the archaeological find, the treasure that mm. yeah. uh, was found. Uh, photo C, you know, climate change, I don't know, power or something, consumption, CO2, carbon dioxide. The UN. And the last one is about, you know, we, it's not the UN according to the, to the, to the news report. It's actually the, what, what, the, what was it? I don't want to give the answer, but it, it wasn't the UN, something close. You'll hear it again. Uh, um, okay. World, World Trade Summit. That's it. World Trade Summit. Yeah. Or... Number one here, D. Uh, okay, so you think this is the first one? That yeah. Happened. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure. All right. Second here, the protest. Okay. And the third one is the picture of the... This is related to climate change. All right. Okay, so you think it's D, A, uh, C, B. Yeah. Okay, that's correct, yes, that's the order. Mm -hmm. Now, we are going to listen again, but this time we're going to... Fill the gaps. Fill the gaps. But let me give you a chance to do it before listening. Would you like to try first? Maybe, yeah. Okay, give it give it a try. You can do number one here. No. World leaders have met to discuss the global warming at the World Trade Summit in Hamburg. Um and the on jeans. Okay. Okay. Now what okay, I'm going to give global you a ممكن ولا حاجة حاجة لها علاقة بال... I don't know the, the only reason I'm, I'm telling you to think again is because usually I don't know if you remember with global warming they rarely use the right they just say global warming they don't say the global warming right yeah that's my <laughs> that's my only criticism it's yeah, just yeah, the yeah. the is... حاجة حاجة لها علاقة بالدت okay okay ما أتكلم بالدت لكن yes they did Context, uh, global debt, uh, global debt. The global debt here, because global debt is because the the system of, of capitalism. There's always debt. There's always a debt. It's you know, part of the system, but you know they they kind of control it or they I don't know. It's a complicated thing, but uh, you know debt. I, I'm sure you know what debt means, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because here with with the system is that uh, the economy is based on, it's all now sort of tied to the, to the dollar. And uh, some one way or another, this creates debt. Mm. So it is, a, it is a big economical problem, big economy, financial problem. It's a big financial problem around the world. Uh, it might be the global debt, maybe, because they did talk about debt. Mm. Yeah, I remember that. This okay. Word. All right. Well, let's let's uh, forget about number two. What about three and four? Uh, at least I don't know the number of people, but uh, police officer was six. Okay. Okay. And uh, number five, a new report on the. Uh, 
about uh, photo C, of course. Yeah, climate, uh, global warming. Oh, the climate, maybe, on global warming, maybe. Okay. Yeah, uh, but uh, the number six target to meet its target mm -hmm. to reduce CO2 emissions. Okay. Maybe related to global warming or something. All right, yeah. Uh, we haven't met our, but we've made good. What do you think? Uh, progress, seven, progress. Good progress, okay. Um, the amount of CO2 produced by the UK has already been reduced by um, something percent, but uh, I can't remember the, the real number, oh. how much percent. Was percent. Mm. The, okay, yeah. There's a number. Maybe two percent, three percent. I don't know. Raheem, what about nine and ten here? Do you remember how many objects right. they found? No, actually. Do you remember who found them? A retired something in Wales. Do you remember the job of metal detector, like my. Yes, he was using a metal detector, but do you remember his job? He was a retired no, no. Okay. What about 11 and 12 here? What do you think? Some people think that this is the most important archaeological discovery this... Century. Century? Yeah. Century. I'm sure, yeah. Century. But why haven't we heard of anything from the... But why haven't... We heard anything from the government yet? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's let's listen again. Let's confirm these guesses. Uh, I think uh, a number of them are correct. Track forty. Hello, I'm Moira Dixon, and here are today's main news stories. World leaders have met to discuss the global economy at the World Trade Summit in Hamburg. EU finance ministers have asked for more help from the World Bank for countries that are having problems paying off their debts. Uh -huh. Okay, I think it's better if I pause. Um, or do, do, you, do you have pens with you that you can write? Uh, number two, economy. Okay, correct. Economy. Yeah. The global economy. Number three, no, no, number three, they haven't started yet. The, I, I paused, I paused before they got there. Yeah. Do you want me to pause after each part or do you want me to let the, hey. the, the whole track go? No, no, pause between each one. Okay. Uh, okay, so they still haven't... Uh, by the way, in the listening, there is more... I mean, uh, the, the report, there is more info than the one that's written here. Do you get the idea? Yeah. yeah. The script is, of course, a lot longer, but here we just want, you know, snippets, little parts of it. Okay? Yeah. So let's go on. Outside the conference hall, thousands of people have taken part in a demonstration to protest against the World Bank's economic policies. The demonstration began peacefully... Okay, sorry I paused. Brahim, it's very noisy there. I'm going to mute you, okay? Yeah. Our, I was just saying it's a noisy there and and it's hard to listen. Okay, okay. I think you're you're moving. Okay. I'm going to listen to the sorry. Yeah, no, it's okay. Let me go back a little bit. Policies. The demonstration began peacefully but soon turned violent as protesters tried to enter the conference hall and were stopped by police. At least 40 people have been arrested and six police officers have been taken to hospital. A new report on the environment. Okay, so? 40, 40 people. Yeah. And six police officers. Yeah. That's it. Okay, so we have 40 and six police officers. And then she started directly with the next report. So let me yeah. go back a little bit. A new report on the environment has just been published. The report shows that the UK has failed to meet its targets to reduce CO2 emissions. Okay. 
environment. Uh -huh. Number six, because why targets. Python meant and your first guess was correct. Targets, no targets, not plural. Okay, so these are the first three parts. Now let's move on. However, Environment Minister Jack Clark told reporters that some progress has been made. We haven't met our targets yet, that's true, but we've made good progress. The amount of CO2 produced by the UK has already been reduced by 2.7% in the last three years, which will help reduce global warming. Mm -hmm. mm. So, what about uh, brain? What about number seven and eight? Uh, we haven't made that much on the A progress. Correct. We've made good progress. And uh, then he said we reduced our carbon dioxide by... By 2.7%. That's it. Two point seven percent. Okay, let's go on. But we could and we should do better, and I'm sure that we will. Over one thousand five hundred ancient gold and silver objects have been discovered by a retired teacher in Wales. 72-year-old Gareth Jones found the treasure five days ago while he was walking around his brother-in-law's farm with a metal detector. Mm -hmm. Retired teacher, why he was lucky. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And he, he, it seems that he handed it to the government, which is something, yeah. which is something no, no retired Libyan teacher would do. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> exactly, you see? You see? So, all right. So, number nine. What about the number? What about the number? How many yeah. objects did you... Did you 1,500. Yeah, that's true. That's what you said. All right. Okay, so some of the items. Let's see the last part of, of this report. I'm sure about it. It was century. The find, which... Sorry, no. I'm sure about it. it was century and government, but uh, okay. Okay, let's confirm. Let's confirm that. Mm -hmm. Let's say the find, which includes coins, swords, and items of jewelry, dates back to the seventh century and could be worth over ten million pounds. One of the UK's leading archaeologists, Professor Geoffrey Baxter says that the government needs to act fast to make sure the treasure stays in public hands. Some of the items still haven't been examined, but this is already the most important archaeological discovery this century. But why haven't we heard anything from the government yet? It's important that these pieces are kept for the nation and eventually put on display in the British Museum. If the government doesn't act soon, some of them might end up in private collections. Mm -hmm. So, no, you're right, yes. Uh, one of the most important discoveries this century. And why has the government... Government... Oh, okay. All right, so uh, this is actually even the language, by the way. It's almost identical to real news reports. Um, I mean, because sometimes in exercises, they, you know, they lower the level a little bit. But mm -hmm. this is, this, they didn't do this here. I don't think so. They used almost uh, maybe 90% of the same vocabulary that you would actually hear on a, on a regular news report on BBC or CNN, maybe. Yeah. Um, yeah, so so uh, so this is it. Okay, now 
Uh, we filled in the gaps. So we did, we finished exercise number three successfully. Now we can move on to number four. Let's see what they want in number four. Okay, so number four here, it's grammar. So they want us to pay attention to present perfect simple. And they want us to pay attention to the difference between uh, active and passive. All right. So, uh, so here, I think this is the focus of uh, the present perfect because present perfect can be used in a few different ways, but I think the focus here is on recent things. Something recent, but mm, we don't exactly say when. So it's something that happened a short time ago, but at the same time, we don't say exactly when. Do you get the idea? Is this clear, Brahim? Uh -uh. Yeah, so this is how this is how they've been they're they're using it. And and you can clearly see this from the example. At least 40 people, if you check the example in the bottom here, when they say uh, here we have two two examples, one of them is passive and one of them is active. But in both situations, it's something that's uh, recent. And even though it's recent, they don't tell you when. Right? So I think this is what, what the news tries to do usually. Uh, okay, now let's move on to uh, number 4A here. It says, look at these sentences from the news, then answer the questions. All right, so I'll just read the two examples and we'll talk about them. The first one, it says, at least 40 people have been arrested. Uh, the other one says, the UK has failed to meet its targets. Okay, so Brahim, question one. Which verb form in bold is in the present perfect active and which one is in the present perfect passive? What do you think? Uh, and uh, remember, Brahim, passive. Uh, you know, that kind of stuff. Uh, at least 40 people has been okay. arrested. Okay. You're right. That's correct. Yes, you're right. So the first one is passive. This means the second one is active. All right, can you let me read you the second question? I'd like you to answer it as well. It says here, how do we make the present perfect uh, simple, simple the, the, the active one and the passive one? When we say active, whenever we say active brain, it means the regular rule, grammar العادة الطبيعي. So how do we make present perfect, uh, you know, the regular one, the active one? How do we do that? And you can use the, the example here. The, the, the one in, in blue. كيف يعني زي يعني كنا كنا عطينا العرب يعني what are the parts used here? Uh, I'll I'll help you okay I'll help you a little bit. So this part is separate from this from this. These are the only and then we have of course this. So in reality we have four parts. What do we call the first part here, Brian? The UK or he or she or it. Or... Okay, that's it. That, there you go. So we have a subject. Then we use have or has. After that, what's the verb form here? Is it past simple or is it past participle? Uh, past simple. No, actually, with, whenever you have has... PP, past participle. PP, بالضبط, you PP, past participle, بالضبط, yeah. Uh, whenever you hear perfect, present yeah, perfect, part, past perfect. Participle, yeah. بالضبط, we need the past participle. Right. Okay. Uh, after that, what, what's the verb form after that? When we say to meet. What's this verb form? Infinitive. That's it. That's how we make. Uh, that's how we make uh, present perfect. We use a subject, then we use has or have, 
then we use the, the past participle. And after that, we use uh, an infinitive verb. There you go. And there's the complement, you know, the, the rest of the, the rest of the sentence. All right. Okay. Uh, what about uh, the, 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 the passive? Maybe now you can do this one. How do we make uh, present perfect passive? Uh, just add B after have or have. Yes, correct. So 40 people have been arrested. But, but the 40 people, are they the subject or are they the object here? Because can, can, can you change the sentence to active uh, and, and also mention, also mention the, 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 the agent or the subject? How can we change it? Are you there, Noha? Hello, Noha? Mm, she disconnected. Okay. Okay, so maybe you can try here, Brian. So when we say at least 40 people have been arrested, 40 people, is it the subject? Subject. Or is it the object? Object, I don't know, the subject is not Yes, صح, صح that's it. Because the subject who arrested them is is not in this sentence. Because if we, uh, because here with the passive, it's up to you. If you want to mention who arrested them, we can say, for example, at least 40 people have been arrested by the police, right? So, mm -hmm. if, But it's optional. The, whoever arrested them, we can mention it or we can, you know, we can omit it. We can leave it out. That is the subject of the sentence. Because if we change it back to a regular active sentence, how would it be? How would you change it to a normal sentence? Uh, the police uh, arrested uh, 40 people. That's it. Right. And maybe instead of arrested, you can just say have arrested. The police have arrested. Have arrested. This, this way you make it, you know, more recent. Uh -huh. The police have arrested 40 people. There you are. That is a regular active present uh, perfect sentence. Perfect. Yeah, present perfect, yeah. And when we want to make it into passive, we're not really, we don't really care who arrested them, to be honest, right? Of course, the police mm -hmm. will arrest them. Who else is going yeah. to arrest them? Yeah, yeah. welcome so back. Disconnected. No problem. So I think Ibrahim already sort of answered your question. <laughs> you disconnected okay. and he answered the question. Okay, okay. so uh, he was just telling me that in this sentence, the passive one, when we say at least 40 people have been arrested, the subject or the agent is not mentioned. And in reality, 40 mm. people, this is our object. It's, it's, not, it's not the subject of the sentence. The subject is omitted. Right? And because if we change it around and return, yeah. it, return it back to active, we would say the police have arrested 40 people. This way, police yeah. would, would come to its... Come, yeah. yeah, it will come to its natural order as a subject and 40 people will, will go to its natural place. Mm as an object at the end. But because passive, you know, they flip the, the whole sentence around. The object is in the beginning of the sentence. All right, so there we are. We, we've answered, I think, the grammar part, uh, at least here in part A. We can move on to part B. Now, part B, it's saying that, look at the words in blue in the speech bubbles. Um, what is the difference in meaning between these words? Where do they go in sentences? Okay, let's change the page view so we can see both pages together. Let me zoom in a little bit. And let's look at the blue words. Um, all right. They want us to look at just, yet, 
already still yet okay so we have four words we have just yet already and still what's the difference let's start with the first two okay what's the difference between just and yet When we say, for example, a new report on the environment has just been published, brain. If I say a new report on the environment has just been published. And then in another sentence, I say, we haven't published our results yet. We haven't met our targets yet. Or I haven't published the reports. We haven't published the, re uh, the reports yet. Uh, yet the negative correct correct this is one this is one main difference yet is for negatives we don't use it in positives correct what else can you uh, we just something happened at the moment the moment of speaking mm, not at the moment of speaking because if it's at the moment of speaking it would be present continuous uh, mm. the report is being published Uh -huh. It's being published, you know, it's happening while I'm still speaking. But you're, you're very close. When you say has been just just been published, yeah, I mean, few seconds ago, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. Right? it's, you know, it's just been baked. This bread has mm. just been baked. You can, it's still, you know, it's yeah. still steamy. It's still hot. It's just been baked right now. But not right now, but, you know. Just been baked hey, hey, hey. seconds ago, maybe. All right. So, hey. so this is the this is how we use just, you know, something that that's as recent as you can to the moment of speaking, as close as it can mm -hmm. be. It's still in the past, hey. but it's as close as it can can be. Uh, yet, you're right. It's it's used for negative, but there's another meaning for yet. Uh, they still didn't do it. Correct, correct. Mm. It means, yes, yes, uh, to, to the moment of speaking, whatever it is I'm talking about, it's not finished yet. It's not ready. It's not, uh, you know, it's not available yet. Mm. When I say yet, it means maybe after the moment I, of my speaking, maybe one second after, it will be ready. But until now, Until the moment of my speaking right now, not yet. It hasn't been finished. It's, it's, not, it's not available yet. It's not finished yet. It's not ready yet. Yeah. All right? So yet is sort of, yeah. if you think of it, it's a bit like the opposite of just, I think, in a way. Right? Yeah, yeah true. I, mean, I think so. Maybe there's something about that. Okay, what's, okay, Noah, what's your opinion on still and ready? Uh, already, still, mazal, ma sarit shir haja. Still mm -hmm. haven't been examined, yani, mazal, yani, tahat al ijra, zama nkulu, lakin, procedure kaada ma ndaritsh. Already, ndarit, khalas, yani, already, already done, already, arash kif nash haag, lakin, Yes. Correct, correct. Uh, already. already Correct. It's already happened. It's, mm. it's, it happened before the moment of us speaking about it. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And by the way, already is one of the, the very famous uh, time phrases used with the past perfect. With the past perfect. When yeah. you say, when I arrived there, he had already left. When yeah. I arrived, he had already left. So it's, mm. it's you know, it's, close, it's closely associated with the past perfect. But you're right, okay. Mm, now, question for both of you. Do you think still and yet, are they the same? Or are they different? If they're different how they're the same why uh, 
I think they are just they are kind of similar to each other. Can we substitute one for another for the other? Yeah, but the uh, place in the sentence will change. For example, we say haven't been examined yet. I will say still haven't been examined. One will be the first, one will be the last. Yeah. I agree. I think this is, the, this is, in a way, that's the only difference, right? Where you put them, yeah. but otherwise yeah. the, me the meaning is almost the identical. This... Yeah. yeah, I think that's true. Mm. All right, let's confirm all of this. Let's see all of this. Uh, let's check our summary here. And uh, let's find uh, if, you know, if there's any tips worth checking, we can check. Let's go. So we have the present perfect simple and um, active and passive for recent events, blah, blah, blah. All of this is correct. We did all of this correctly. No need to waste any time. Ah, all right. These two pip, uh, tips are, I think, relevant to this lesson and uh, to what we want to talk about. Can you read these two points, please, Brian? Uh, we often use passive verbs forms in radio and TV news reports and newspaper articles. Mm -hmm. When we say the exact time something happened, we must use the past simple, active, or passive. Okay. Yeah, the, the first uh, point, Shot I think... Phone. Uh, sorry? Sorry? Okay. Listen, Jareth, I think. Jones. Gareth, Gareth Jones. Gareth, Ava. Yeah. yeah. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's, I think it's a typical British name. Okay, so uh, the first point, uh, I think we talked a little bit about this when we first studied uh, passive. You remember the lesson when we studied passive, the one about uh, natural disasters, tsunamis and earthquakes and rising sea levels. You remember that lesson, Brian? I think a unit ago, maybe. Do you remember it? Hey. When we talked about different different types of passives, uh, I mentioned that hey. passive yeah. is, is used a lot in academic English, in formal writing, and it's also used a lot in, hey, in, in, in journalism in general. Because in journalism, sometimes we're more we're more interested with the result well, rather than the cause. We're in, we're interested in the effect rather than the the origin of the thing. Who who did? Who did what is not as interested as what happened. You get the idea. Hey. That's why it's called the news. Uh, we want to know what happened rather than who did it. You get the idea. So when the interest, in, interest is or the emphasis is on what happened instead of who did it, you will find yourself using the, the passive uh, a lot more. Uh, so this is the first point. The second point is also, you know, it's a common... I think it, this is a, a well-known grammatical truth. If you want to give a time point in the past, you cannot do this with present perfect. It's not allowed. Yeah. If, you, if, if, you, if you say when something happened, because here in this example, take a look at, can you see this, Brian? Until five days ago. We... Uh -huh. You cannot say five days ago would have PP would have past participle, past not allowed. Participle. You can't do that. You can't say, uh, I've, uh, I've met Ahmed, uh, maybe you can do it here, I've met Ahmed five days ago. You can, in this sense. But um, in another example, like for example, the, the, UK, uh, the UK has already met its target uh, five uh, years ago or five weeks ago, for example. This isn't correct. You get the idea. You have to, you have to if you want to use a, uh, an exact point in the past, we need to use uh, the, past, uh, the past temple here. If you want to say the exact time something happened. But I think you can use it in some examples, right? Uh -huh. When we say, for example, I haven't met him since. So we are using it. Uh, we are using a time phrase here, an exact point. I haven't met him since 1999. I haven't met him for five years. So there is a point here. Hmm. Uh, 
Anyways, so at this point, they're just telling us we shouldn't use, uh, if you want to give an exact uh, time, you shouldn't use uh, present perfect. All right, so uh, let's take a look at here. And uh, just, okay. Uh, okay, so I think just is the same thing we said. Something that happened short time ago, yet, okay, something that hasn't happened, but we think it might happen in the future. Mm. Okay, already something happened in the time past. Okay, maybe sooner than we expected. Okay. And the last one still. Something started in the past and continues in the present. We put still before the auxiliary sum of the mm. Okay. Uh, okay, so I think this is clear. Uh, the differences between just yet still already I think the only thing they added here with yet is that you think it will happen in the future when you say uh, yet. Mm -hmm. So when we say we haven't met our targets uh -huh. yet, it means uh, it will happen soon or it's going to happen. It just hasn't, it just hasn't happened yet. That's the idea. Yeah, it's a matter uh, of time. It's a matter of time, yes. Um, and, and I think yet is used a lot even in everyday language. Is he here? No, he hasn't arrived yet. It means he will arrive, but he's late. You know, traffic, whatever. He hasn't arrived yet. He's not here yet. He's coming, he's not here yet. So it's, it's a bit obvious. Uh, already, they added also this interesting part, maybe sooner than we expected. So whenever, whenever you use already, it's happened in the past, and, and maybe it's sooner than we uh, expected. Like in, uh, like in it, it's confusing. في ال مش في النيجاتيف زي مثلا are we there yet؟ اها uh -huh. are we there yet؟ but yeah, but you مش مش نيجاتيف هدية مثلا but it's in a question yeah. hey but you can't use yet in a positive uh, sentence try, if you try it it uh, doesn't work you can't say we are there yet you know you can do it in a question. You can, you're right, you can do it in a question. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? The answer is no, we're not. Um, are we there yet? It's a bit like saying... Uh, um, yeah, but also it means... Have we that, arrived? Yeah, it means is there a point uh, you're, you're, expecting, you're expecting that you haven't? Uh, when you say yet, mm -hmm. there's a chance that you haven't, you're not there yet. So you probably a a use it in the question, are we there yet? Are we there yet? I got that, so tall. Can you hear me? Yeah. You got that, so And the uh, Noha, can you hear us? Yeah. I, you... ah, okay. Mm, is your coverage okay? Uh, it's okay, but it's choppy, kind of. Mm. My internet is okay, I don't know, maybe... Uh... Okay. All right, so uh, I think yet you can use it in questions. Uh, are we there? Are we there yet? Uh, I think when you say, are, you, are we there yet? You're expecting that uh, there's still more, maybe. Mm -hmm. There's an expectation, a negative expectation that. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's check the tips. We have a few tips here. All right, uh, Brahim, can you read these uh, tips at the bottom? Let me box them for you here. Mm. Yeah, let me. Yeah. Ah, Emma. Uh, we don't use uh, just all or already uh, in negative sentences. Uh, I've just seen him, not I haven't just seen him. Uh, the meeting has already finished, not the meeting hasn't already finished. We don't use yet in positive sentences. Uh, she hasn't told him yet. 
um, he, he has has she told him yet? But not she's told him yet. Uh, we only use still in negative sentences uh, with the present perfect simple. Some of the items still haven't been examined. <clears throat> Not some of the items still have been examined. Okay, okay. So here you can see now how they included it in, in uh, mm -hmm. you can use it in a question mm -hmm. and you can use it in a negative yet, but you can't do it in a positive, of course. Yeah. Mm, okay, so this is obvious. Nothing uh, additional here, I think. Uh, yet and still are for negative sentences. Just and already are for positive sentences. That's all they're saying here. Okay, we can go back. Which page is it in your book? Huh? 70, is it 72? Uh, 73. Okay. And okay, so we can change page view to one to one page all right so uh, that's uh, that's what we need to know at least for now regarding the present perfect simple when we use it in active or when we use it in passive and uh, some of the interesting words you can combine still already yet and so on uh, okay number five here they want us uh, to find out which of uh, the verb forms are in uh, the active and which ones are in passive. Hmm, I think this is not too hard, but let's do it. Okay, let's start with the first speech bubble here. Okay, first one is yours, Brian. So can you read the first speech bubble here? Uh, word uh, leaders have met the have met to discuss the global economy economy uh, at the World Trade uh, Summit in Hamburg. All right. So what do you think? Is this active or passive? Active. Correct. This, the second one, no, the second uh, speech bubble. At least 40 people have, uh, have been arrested and six police officers have been taken to hospital. Um, passive. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Third one, Brian. A new, a new report uh, on the environment. Environment has just pub been published. The report shows that the UK has failed to meet its target. Um, Target to uh, reduce CO2 uh, emissions. Yeah. Okay. Mm, what do you think? Active or passive? Active. Both of them? Um, because you have two. One of them is has just been published and the other one has failed. Hey. Mm, I think, yeah. Um, uh, the second one, I think it's active, but the so, first one, so, I'm not sure. The first, the second one is active, you're right, because we are we have the subject, the agent, mm. but cool, you're in UK. The UK has failed. Mm. We, we know who failed. But the second, but the first one, if you pay attention, it says a new report on the economy has been published. Who published it? Uh, passive. Yes. We don't know who published yeah. it. Which country, which, yeah. you know, which journal, which group. All right, now next, next ones. We have four here in this bubble. Okay. We haven't met our targets yet. That's true, but we have made good progress. The amount of CO2 produced by the UK has already been reduced by 2.7% in the last three years. Mm -hmm. The first one, the first two uh, active who okay. has already been reduced uh, passive. Right, that's it, yeah. Okay, next box, Brahim. Um over 
1,500 uh, uh, Asian gold and silver objects has been discovered by a retired uh, teacher in Wales. Mm. Active or passive? passive? Yeah. Hey, yeah this. Passive is correct. Uh, the last one, no? Some of the items still haven't been examined, but this is already the most important archaeological uh, discovery this century. But why haven't we had um, why haven't we heard anything from the government yet? Uh, still haven't been examined. Uh, passive. Okay. Or the second one is active. Yes. Yes. All right. Excuse me. Please. Take your time, take your time. All right, do you get the idea? I think Ibrahim, you're a little better with the passive today than the last time, right? I think you're getting a handle mm -hmm. on it. Yeah. All right, so uh, this is good, this is good, very good. All right, now active or passive, listen to these sentences, notice the weak forms of have, has, and been. Okay, listen to eight sentences. Okay, I'm going to play uh, these two sentences, Brian. The first one, uh, where it says that uh, these blue, two, the two blue sentences here, I'm just going to play them. Um, you know, just just pay attention to the weak forms, because keep in mind, have and has and been are always weak, or almost always weak. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So let's listen. World leaders have met to discuss the global economy. A new report on the environment has just been published. All oh, right. Okay. So um, have is have and been is been, right? Mm. That's all you need to know. And has is has. In short, the, uh, they are usually uh, in the weak form. They're usually in the weak form. You'll not hear them full like have, has, been, right? It won't happen. Now, mm -hmm. I'm going to play eight sentences, Ibrahim. Uh, and I want you to tell mm -hmm. me which, which of them are active, which of them are passive. All of them, of course, are in the present perfect, which is today's uh, focus. But some will be in the passive, some will be in the active form, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, one by one. Okay, okay, I'll stop after each one, all right? Okay. A new Sorry. survey has just been published. Sorry. Okay, let me pause. Two. The government. Uh, okay, so what we're doing here First now. First one, uh, passive. Correct. You're right, Brian. We're doing here number six, part B. We're just spotting. Uh, the the recording will play eight sentences, Noah. Uh, they're mixed. Some of them are active. Some of them are passive. We want to just to spot. We want to, to we want to tell which which one is which. Okay. 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 So the first one, uh, Brahim already uh, answered it. It was passive. Mm -hmm. Now let's let's see the second one. Two. The government has just published a new survey. Mm -hmm. What about this one? Active. Yes. Three. Three people have been taken to hospital. Brain. Passive. Right. Four. The police have taken three people to hospital. Mm -hmm. This one. Active. Mm -hmm. Active. Five. The government hasn't met its targets yet. It's about this one. Active. Mm -hmm. Six. The targets haven't been met yet. Right. Passive. Mm -hmm. Seven. The pay offer has already been rejected. Mm -hmm. Passive. Yes. Passive. Yes. Eight. 
the workers have already rejected the pay offer. Active. Yes. Okay, that's right. Yes. Um, okay, number seven, let's skip it. They want you to practice the stress, the weak bonds, blah, blah. Now, number eight is more interesting, a lot more interesting. And, oh, very nice. We also can confirm it from listening. Okay, so I'm going to give you a few minutes so you can work on this. Uh, you need to work with the verb in the brackets, but at the same time, you need to decide if it's active or passive. So, of course, depending whether you choose active or passive, there, there will be a slight difference in, in the way you, you answer, of course. Okay, so here okay. you have to choose passive or active. Is it clear, Brian, what you need to do here? Yeah, but, but it's always present. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. But it's always present perfect. Yeah, so I jack active or a passive who are present perfect. We should have. Do you get the idea? Mm. All right. Yeah, okay. just yet. Uh, no, no, don't use yet. Um, start, use yet. Just use the verb. Let, let me, let's do number one as an example, okay? Yeah, and rejected. Yeah, with the government's pay offer rejected by the transport no. Uh, union. No. Um, passive has been rejected by. Yeah, I, th I think if, we, if I show you how, uh, let me very, very quickly, Brian. And what is the key and tally, present perfect, simple, active with passive. Uh, here, I want you to zoom in on this uh, box. Active. Oh, I'll put all the box up. Can you see this? This is your, this is what mm. you're going to use to answer the exercise. So if you're using passive, if you're using, sorry, active, you have to use all these parts. present perfect, active, sorry. So you're going to use the subject, I, you, we, they. government, whatever. After that, you have to use have or has. There is no, there is no present perfect where have or has. Right? You have to use them. Okay? Mm -hmm. After that, you use the past participle. Okay? Um, so, uh, in the exercise, you have to get, in the UK, you have to to meet its target, or you have to get failed by the same. So, you have to get the same thing. Has failed. 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 And the idafa fi hatan bin here the the weak uh -huh. one bin. Um, they haven't been. Well, they have sure. been. Right. Is yeah. matter, at least forty people have been arrested. What option? Hayatik. Hayatik arrest. Then go send this. Hayatik infinity arrest. Yeah, is it one tal aula? As I said, Abnana has been rejected. Mm-hmm. So. لأنها أعطيك الباي كاتب لك الأجي وطبعا لما يعطيك الباي هي باسف بالضبط لو أعطاك الباي هو أريدي شبه جاوب هالك ساعد وراك أن راه هي باسف لكن راه ما تعبش على الباي ما نعطيك يعطيك شل من اللي دارها إيه 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 alright so this is your rough guide so we can go back now okay so take a few minutes Use these rules. And whenever you're not sure, just uh, do you have the PDF with you, right? And then, eh. If you need to, no, I'll go to 150, page 150. I'll go to a screenshot the rule and I'll put it in one day. That's good. It will help you. Eh. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you this. Yeah, take your time.
Have you finished? finished. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. So I sort of guessed before you finished. I'm sure you have seven. Okay. Seven. Nice. Okay. Okay, let's uh, the first one. Let's give it to to Noah. The first two, the first two bubbles, speech bubbles. Noah can do them, and the last two, Ibrahim, you can do the last two. Okay. Okay. All right. Go ahead. The government pay offer. Uh, the government is uh, pay offer has been rejected by the transport union. The union leader, Alan Stone has just confirmed 
that train drivers will go on strike at midnight. However, next week is, is postal strike has been called off after the union accepted a pay offer of 3.4%. Okay. Uh, scientists in Cambridge have found the gene that causes asthma. The gene is one of many allergy genes that has been discovered in the last few years. Okay, number next one, Brian. Mm -hmm. uh, rock singer uh, he Heidi Heidi, Heidi. Heidi uh, has just uh, has just uh, arrived uh, in the UK uh, for uh, her sellout tour. Uh, her second amble, uh, album, certainly. Serenity. Serenity. Serenity has already sold over uh, five million copies. Okay. Okay. And uh, we uh, have just uh, heard uh, that uh, actor Henry Robertson uh, Robson uh, has just. Uh, has to, uh, taken to a hospital after a car accident uh, in his uh, uh, a car accident. His condition um, Okay, you can think of it. And described as serious. has been described as serious. Okay, let's write that. Now, let's check all these answers from the actual reports. So let's listen. Union. The union leader, Alan Stone, has just confirmed that train drivers will go on strike at midnight. However, next week's postal strike has been called off after the union accepted a pay offer of 3.4%. Scientists in Cambridge have found the gene that causes asthma. The gene is one of many allergy genes that have been discovered in the last few years. Rock singer Heidi G has just arrived in the UK for her sellout tour. Her second album, Serenity, has already sold over five million copies. And we've just heard that the actor Henry Robson has been taken to hospital after a car accident. His condition has been described as serious. With number nine, right? Mm. What's the right answer? Mass mm, Matashalhak. Okay, let's think of it a little bit. Read from the beginning. And we have just heard that the actor Henry Robson has been taken. To, hosp to hospital. Okay, that's correct. But wh why is it correct now? My mother uh, has been taken. Then a passive. Yes, because we don't know who took him. Mm -hmm. We don't care really, as long as he arrived in hospital and got treated. That's all we care about. Has been taken. All right, so very nice, very good. So this is all done and correct. We can move on. Uh, okay, this is also nice. Okay, so this is a bit easier. So all we need to do is it's a just it's a little exercise on the, 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 the these words already st still yet and just. Okay, so Ibrahim, you can start with number one. 
you need to put uh, already in its correct place in the, in the sentence. The strike has lasted three weeks. The strike has already uh, lasted uh, three weeks. Okay. Uh, number two, no. The Prime Minister has just arrived. Um, next one, Brian. Uh, the relatives the relatives haven't uh, been told yet. Next one, Noha. Uh, he has already been question, uh, questioned by the poli by the police. Mm. Five, Brian. Two men have just been arrested. Right. Next one. Uh -huh. Number six. Uh, has the match finished yet? Okay. And the last one, Brian. The results still haven't been uh, published. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Okay, so this one went smoothly. We can move on. Uh, okay, so you can see this lesson, the focus is uh, just act active and passive uh, with, with present perfect. Okay, so we still have a little bit of time. We can work on this one until we run out of time. So human behavior, this is another sort of psychological kind of lesson. So uh, the vocab in this lesson, the vocab we'll talk about is body movement, responses. We'll also talk a little bit about the connecting words. Uh, okay, so the skills, I think they're more focused more or less on, on reading, magazine articles, TV interviews. Let's start with vocab here. Okay, so it said here, which of these verbs do you know? Hmm. Okay, no, I can, can you read these uh, verbs for us, please? They're all related, of course, to body movements and uh, responses. Cry, laugh, smile, yawn, wave, uh, shiver, shiver uh, blush, stretch, scratch, call, frown, uh, sweet. Sweat. Sweat. Yeah. Sweat. What, what about these two? How do you um, how do you read them? Which two? Brahim, can you give them a try? From. Uh, crawl. Uh, from. Uh, from. From. Okay, from. I'll I'll help a little bit. Crown, crown. Yeah. Th they're the same. Crown. Yeah, that's it. That's that's it. Crown. And the other one. It's the same sound. Small. Scroll. Scroll. Yes, that's correct. So frown, crown, small, crawl. It's the same sound. The all, ball, hall, wall, small, tall, crawl. It's the same sound. All right, okay, so are there any of these words which are new to you? Uh, yawn. Yawn. Yawn, yeah, sleepy, I don't. Close, you're very close. But it's a, it's a, remember, it's a body movement. It's not a feeling. It's a body movement or response. So it's something physical. It's not a feeling. But you're, no. you're close. No, no, I'm sure. no you're, clo you're close. You're close. No. You're very close, actually. Okay. Okay. So drowsy, yani. Drowsy is another feeling, but yawn is not a feeling. It's something you do with your body. Yawn. All of ah, these. Yes. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is 
This is yawn, yawning. He's always yawning. If you are sleepy, you will yawn, of course, <laughs> right? So if you are yawning, it means you are sleepy. They are related. The feeling or yeah. or or your your sensation, which is sleepiness, will cause the body to yawn. Mm -hmm. So all of these things yeah. are are body bodily physical responses, things that you can see actually. Uh, okay, so we know yawn now. Uh, frown. Frown. So this looks like a new word, right? Do you know frown? Uh, no, no. Okay. And any, any other word? Uh, crawl? I think you know crawl, Naha. Yeah, yeah, crawl. So only frown for you, Naha, right? Yeah. Brain? Do you know? Do you know? Uh, shiver, yeah. shiver, blush. Yeah, yeah. Uh, sweat. I think sweat is care. Mm -hmm. Okay. Frown and crawl. Do you know crawl? Frown. Brain? Hey, crawl. Hey, hey. Okay. Frown. Frown. Give me good luck. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Someone is sad, Haja Hiki. Close. They're angry. Close, close. Yes. Yes. Yeah. But remember, it's not a feeling. It's the response of the body to the feeling. Yeah, yeah. Response, yeah. Face, yeah. face. Uh... Face. It's something you do when you're with your face when you're and um, when you're not happy depressed or something. Or something. Yeah. yeah, it's you know, it's like this when you do your your, you know. Your eyebrows go down. You're like this. Exactly. Kind of. You know, sad it's, emoji. <laughs> it's a bit like a sad emoji. I think you can see it like a sad emoji. I think you can see it like a sad emoji. I think you can see it like a sad emoji. I think you can see it like a sad emoji. The face. Children, they do this angry face. Babies especially. Mm, you can see it like a sad emoji. Um, Dear <laughs> maybe now you know this. What do you say to, to, to babies when they do these, you know, they frown? Um, I think the best way is to show you an image. It's a lot better than describing it. And uh, an image is worth uh, a thousand words. A thousand, yeah. <laughs> okay, no, no, disconnect. Mother words, these are mother words. Hey. <laughs> I don't think. I know it. <laughs> okay, let me take you to. Okay, let's go to Uncle Google. Uncle Google, show us frown. <laughs> Do you see frown? Eh. Uh, what can I build that? But can't they? Eh, but can't they? Like, if you tell me some fellow, my heart will be at me, this baby at me, you're who you had. You go look, Shekha, you go to Kesher. No, if you can build that, bad. I'm gonna say, tell me, I'm a hat, eh, it's Essel, Essel, Felicky at one. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. مكرمش حتى مكرمش يمشي حاله لكن في كلمه رايحه انا ما نجي بالك نيكست تايم اي ون سي اتس اتس كومبليتلي ان ريليتد تو تو انجلش بس يو نو 
anyway, yeah. so, so we know what we know what frown means. I'm casually, yeah? This is the, the point. Mm -hmm. So when you're a little upset, disappointed, a bit angry, maybe you frown. So the frown is especially this, this, you know, this area moving your eyebrows and nose into, you know, this this kind of it's usually here around your it's eyes. Just, uh, yeah, it's a it's a facial, a facial expression. That's what it is, facial mm -hmm. expression. All right, so we know we know the we know all the uh, all the bodily the bodily move the body movements. Now, mm -hmm. in this question, it says, uh, "When do people cry?" I think this is we don't need to do this. There's just one which hey. situation. For example, when do people frown, Brian? When do you think people frown? When they get angry, maybe disappointed. Correct. When do people yeah. crawl? Do people crawl? This, crawl? Yeah. 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 Why would a person crawl? Maybe he can't walk. For a baby, he can't walk, so he crawls. That's it. This is a I think that babies do before they walk, they crawl. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why uh, or when do people shiver? When they are uh, cold, feeling cold. That's it. When do people yawn? When they are sleepy. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's what we need in, in number one B. Okay, we have a little few words uh, which are related to the topic we're going to read. Uh, let, let's see, let's see. Yeah. Evolve, bond and with someone, tears, and itch, forgive. Itch and also the behalf. When we Some, say. He wants to scratch something. That's it. That's it. Mm. That's an itch. Okay. An itch will cause you to scratch. So scratch mm -hmm. is what you do, but the sensation that that makes you it makes you scratch is is an itch. Mm -hmm. Okay. Tough, right. uh, number one, bl Japanese shini. What is it? Itch. Itchy. Itchy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, two. Uh, number two, knee. Fundamental. Itchy knee. Bilingrizi. Your knee is itchy. Itchy knee. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. So itchy. All right. Now I think we need to read the, the article first. Don't think we have time because we're about to run out of time. But okay. Before you read, read these words. We are working pairs. Uh, oh, all right. So we don't need to read. To me, we don't we need to read just yet. We can do the matching the the, the picture thing. Can you read these five? Uh, reasons okay. why people do these things to bond uh, with other person in a group had he bond with someone to turn off parts of the brain connected with bad feelings and memories by the way here we're not we're not matching, no, these matching. Sentences. Um, we're matching these sentences to the pictures if you go to can you see the picture uh, a b c b c d uh, uh, D, D, let me go to the other page. Here it is, D and E. Can you see them bottom left? A, E, Yons, A. Yes. Now, it says, number one, to bond with other people in a group. Hadi, uh, mm -hmm. E. Let me go and see E again. Is it E? Do we yawn to, to bond with other people? Yeah. What what are they doing in the photo in the in the picture? I mean? uh, talking to each other, having fun, taking, yeah. uh, drinking tea. Yeah, I think so. I think that's it. Um, what about uh, number two? Can you read number two? To turn off parts of the brain connected with bad feelings and memories. What's that? Which photo is this? B. Um, what's happening in B? But you're right. But what, what is happening in B? 
She spilled her drink. And what's happening to her face? Blushed. She's she's blushing, right? Her face is blushed. Yeah. Mm, do you think this this we do you think we blush uh, to turn parts of her brain connected with bad feelings and memories? Uh, you, may, you, you might be right. I don't know. Maybe. maybe, maybe. Oh, okay. Number three. To show that we have broken a social rule. Social rule. Which which photo does it look like someone has broken a social rule? Are you sure? Uh, uh, um, e. E. Uh, do we yawn e. when? Sean? Do we think we? Do you think we yawn when we break a social rule, or do what? What happens no. when we break us? When we break a social rule, when we do what something... What does it mean, a social rule, actually? Social rule, you know, anything, you know, you know, if you, you say something stupid or if you curse without meaning or, you know, these kind of awkward situations. All of these are, when you when, when we say an awkward situation, it means you, you broke a social rule. For example, you shouldn't uh, interrupt someone older... Maybe you, sh for example, you shouldn't, uh, you shouldn't go visit someone without taking a gift. Um, maybe if you go there to your uncle's house or aunt's or whatever, and yeah. they tell you, "Well, oh, you didn't bring anything with you." How do you feel when if, if that happens? It, it, it maybe it won't, but let's say it does. Hey, I will say, uh, Shani. How would you feel? Uh, How would you feel is I am not enough. Uh, um, blushed. You, you will probably blush, but what drives yeah. you to blush? That's it. That's the question. What makes you blush? You're right about blushing. You'll probably blush. Any normal human being who's not a, who's not a psychopath will probably blush too. Uh, but why? What, what's the feeling that drives you to blush? When do people blush? That's the when question. When something awkward happens. Correct. And yani B. Uh, I think B. I, I would I would say B too. When something awkward yeah. or something embarrassing happen happens, how uh, don't you think? Don't you think that she feels quite embarrassed now that she spilled her? Yeah. Drink? And everybody is, is looking, min, min looking at her, yeah. Uh, yeah. And I don't think Squin. she's... <laughs> they're, they're all talking behind, her, <laughs> talking behind her back. So I don't yeah. think she's, she's feeling... She's probably really embarrassed, so she's blushing. So B might, yeah. be, might be the best option here. Um, number four, to increase the amount to of increase oxygen. increase the amount of oxygen in the brain. Hmm. Let, let's cross the ones we already answered so we so it makes it easier for us so we one use two, three we use b and we use the d uh, d the, the, the socializing yeah. one yeah so we have the yawning one and we have a and c Increase the amount of oxygen in the brain. Mm. So you have either three options, Brian. It's either yawning, it's either itching, or it's either crying, holding your head and crying. Um, e. Yawning. Maybe. Okay. I think you might be right. Of course, by the way, we're just guessing you and I now, by the way, because this needs the article 
we have to read the article to confirm this, but we're just guessing. Uh, that's, all, that's all we're doing. And you could be right, but we'll find out from the article, of course. Uh, well, next lesson, of course. Now, the last one uh, to release stress related chemicals. Hey. Yeah. Maybe when, you know, when we cry, maybe it's to, to, relieve, to relieve ourselves, right? Yeah. Yeah, it makes sense. Uh, okay, so this means in our next lesson, inshallah, Brian will uh, talk in detail. We'll learn a little bit more about the strange things our bodies sometimes do and why they do it. So we'll talk about this. Uh, a lesson in behavior, I guess. Okay. So uh, that's all for today. Have a good night and I'll see you next time. Okay, Brian? Inshallah. Uh, the video works, yeah, Hamadou. Oh, yeah, the videos. The videos, the problem is I haven't uploaded any of the, the you know what? If an intermediate, if an YouTube. Yeah, there is nothing. I haven't, I need to do them from the beginning. Um, you know what? I'm just going to do them randomly. I'll So I'll start from today's lesson. And, and after that, I'll, I'll, because I want them in order. That's the thing. Mm -hmm. But, but, uh, but I'll just do them backwards. No problem. I'll do them backwards. Okay. And this way, uh, you're subs are you subscribed to the channel? Come on, man. Uh, okay. How many? Uh, okay. So this, yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> okay then. Okay. So uh, maybe I'll just start in opposite order. Okay. I'll start from today's lesson. Uh, the internet is okay today. Uh, start from today backwards, and then in the list, I'll just uh, rearrange them in the list. But I, I can't number them if I do that. Mm. Anyways, uh, I'll, 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 I'll manage something, okay? Yeah, I mean, not to do them. It's not necessary, I mean, but the light is like... Yeah, start, start uploading. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, okay. Stop up. Okay. All right. But did you see the, the previous ones, Brian? Did you see the ones that are posted? Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. Okay, then. Okay. I need to work on them. So I'll uh, I'll see you next time. Have a good night. Inshallah. Okay. Okay. Bye. 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 Bye.